Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Beauty Budgets here and today I will be doing my budget for my paycheck that's going to be coming on Friday. If you are new to my channel, on my channel I give out jobs. My job is to be open, honest, and transparent, share as much of my budgeting tips as I can, and to be supportive on your channel if you have one and you have a job. That's right, you have a job on my channel. I know most people don't be giving out jobs, but I do over here because that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? So your job is real easy though. Your job will be to like comment and subscribe and if you like what you hear go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when i post my next video now go ahead and do your little job do your little job you don't want to lose this little job you just got this job by showing up to my channel today please be like all my other beauties who do what they supposed to when they supposed to ain't no lazy workers around here okay go ahead and do it <laughs> make sure you guys tune in on saturday november 13th it will be my turn to share my workspace like the behind the scenes uh I'm, i will be sharing my whole setup my camera setup um everything my whole desk where i'm at where where my office is and all of that so make sure you tune in on saturday so you can see my setup um thanks to chrissy with the mom the mom life her email is the mom life of five, but her I think her YouTube channel is the mom life. But Chrissy, um, thanks to Chrissy for setting this up. She did pick 25 YouTubers to go ahead and share their setup, their whole setup, the behind the scenes, and share a little bit of tips. So make sure you stay tuned so you can see what I got going on. So y'all could be all up in my business. Like, like, like y'all ain't already all up in my business because y'all all up in my, my income. You know what I'm saying? My finances. I don't know how much more personal you can get. But all right, so let's get right into it. So when I do my budget, I always start with my monthly calendar and I will see what bills fall within the page pay period that I will get that I will be getting paid. I get paid on the 12th. So any bill that falls between the 12th and my next paycheck will be, um, well, I'll have to pay with this paycheck. So any bill from the 12th to my next pay period, which would be the 26th, would be due. However, if you have not been following me, you don't know. So let me just tell you, I am one month ahead on all of my bills. That officially happened last month. So every bill I had was paid um, like around second or third of this month because I was just taking my time paying it off. Um, but all of my bills are paid for the month of November. So I will not have to track what bills are getting paid when. What I am going to do now is start saving 25% of my bills will sit aside each paycheck and I will pay my bills on the first of every month. So because I'm only doing 25%, I will have to take some money out of my emergency fund so that I can cover all of December. And then after that, 25% of my paycheck or 25% of the bill will be okay to start saving each pay period. Um, if you are new to my channel, I am doing this because we are now a one income family. So we had to make some adjustments and figure out what would be a good way to still be able to save each month um, but still pay our bills with the one income. So now that I got that out the way, so I no longer have to look at this monthly view to figure out when my bills were and when they're gonna be paid. Um, I'm actually going to do 25%. Every month my bills are 34.64, no, 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 34.84, right? So we're going to times 0.25. So that means I'm gonna to have to set aside $871 from this paycheck or from each paycheck. So for my fixed expenses, I am starting with that because I just wanna get that out of the way. Um, I'm so happy to have met that one month, a whole, one month ahead goal because as you can see, 34, 84 is a lot of money and that would have been my whole paycheck. So 871 will go to my expenses. So I definitely skipped over my income for this month. So I always talk to you guys about God's timing. And of course, um, he's always on time. And so I think this is going to be another paid period where I am not going to notice that we are only on one income because my bonus check came on this paycheck it was a total of 393 dollars yay i get a bonus every three months so it was just perfect timing for this um also in this pay period 
we will be getting that child tax credit on the 15th so that's going to be additional five hundred dollars um so let me write that in child tax credit five hundred dollars so my total um check my, my income with my bonus this time around minus taxes i did do some overtime but you know, after taxes on that bonuses, you definitely don't see none of it. <laughs> um, so 2163 was my check. And then I did get a grant, another grant from school. I think this is gonna be the last one, but hey, as long as they keep giving them to me, I am going to take it. So the grant was about a thousand dollars, but we did um go ahead. My stepson got his dreads relocked. Um, what else? I brought a laminator because I'm gonna start my Etsy business. Um, I brought some you know packing stuff. I brought some vinyl. I brought some cardstock. Like I, I spent a lot of it. So I think as of right now, all we have left is five hundred and sixty dollars from that money. So let's add up the income total so we can see what we are working with for this month 2163 plus hey so we are only a couple hundred away from what it would have been so that is awesome very awesome. Okay, so like I said, we are taking out 871 for um, my bills, to put in my bills folder. Um, so that's good. So we'll just go down the list. Um, I won't do anything extra, anything crazy. Um, my husband's birthday, my stepson's birthday is... Um, my stepson's tomorrow. My husband's is on Saturday. So I'll probably put some extra money to that. Um, just in case he hasn't decided what he wanted yet. But for the most part, we'll just do our normal amount. So 25 for his spending. 80 for gas. But that's going to have to go up because y'all know them, them gas prices have been ridiculous. So let's do 100. Um Miscellaneous will get 10. All my normal amounts. Eating out will get 100. Her spending will get 25. Food is going to get 200. Um, the dogs will get 20. Clothing will get 30. I haven't did anything in clothing in a while, so. Dollar Divas, uh, nothing. B-Days, I think I'm gonna have to do like 200. I might even need to do 300 if I'm being honest. Um, but we'll see, so 200. Investments, I don't think I'm gonna do this time. If I do, I will, um, move my numbers around so I normally do my cash stuffings on Saturday Friday so we'll see if I change that um fun will not be getting stuff and then giving gets 10 so that'll leave us with 1632 so um church will get its money first which is 320 Okay, what else should go first? Oh, my kids, of course, they always go first as well with their normal 50, 100, and 50. So, what else goes first? I think that is it. Um, 100 envelope challenge. I don't know how much I'm gonna <laughs> do to my 100 envelope challenge, to be honest. So, let's just go through and do this. So we do $2 for Halloween. I'm gonna do the ones that I know for a fact aren't gonna change first. Thanksgiving is pretty much capped out, but let's just do another $10. Like we don't need that much to go towards Thanksgiving. We were going out of town, but we are not anymore. So we are fine with what we have in Thanksgiving. Um, what else can go 
giveaway, so I always do 20 for the giveaways. I think I'm at 3,200 right now, my subscribers. So remember that once I hit 5,000 subscribers that they will get my whole giveaway pot, whatever amount is in there. Right now I think it's 20, so it's gonna be 40. Um, annual fees will get, I don't know. <laughs> I had none of this planned out, okay. So let's go ahead and do, let's do, let's do 600 to my 100 envelope challenge. All right. So now it breaks it down for us a little bit. So let's do 20 to annual fees. Car maintenance, let's do 50. Um, let's go ahead and do a hundred. Let's let's get this one out of the way. Home decor. Let's do our normal. So it either gets ten or five. I mean, I'm, we'll do five for home decor and home repair. Um, emergency funds. Let's do a hundred. Why not? It's like technically my 100 envelope challenge is my emergency fund. It's going to be so I really don't have to stuff emergency fund, but it's fine. So let's do 50 for anniversary. All right, let's travel one. This one is starting over. Let's do tens for those. Christmas, oh yeah, darn it, I forgot about Christmas. So I'm gonna do $100 for Christmas. And then one, two, three, four, so $5 a piece. Five, 10, 15, 20. All right, so we are all set. My budget is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and add up all my totals and make sure I did this right. So. Everything should add up to $3,223. If it does not, that means I did some math wrong. So A71, oops. Okay, yay! <laughs> that's the first time in a while it actually added up correctly. So, oh, this is, this is awesome. Um, so we are all set to do my cash stuffing. If you're new to the budgeting community and cash stuffing in general, what we do is we create a budget. So we know how much we're gonna get paid, which is that, that was my income here. We go ahead and we look at what bills need to be paid. So that's what I did in the beginning. And I'm pay, putting aside 25% of my bills each paycheck. So $871 is bill money that I'm going to allocate and take out of this check. Also, I look, you look at things that you're going to need. So the next one, um, some people call these variable expenses versus fixed because these are things that you have to pay each, you know, every time you get paid or monthly or however, um, it has to be done. Like you have to get gas if you if you drive a car, if you work, um, you have to get food for groceries um, or you have to put money aside for groceries, things like that. So these are things that you have to do and pay out pretty much cash each time you get paid so that's why they're called cash envelopes so those come out second after your bills go to your cash envelopes and then whatever is left over will go to um, your sinking funds and these are like your mini savings accounts for things that you for goals that you have that you've set yourself so the only thing that I have over here that technically should always come out first is my church money um, but I always you know by the time I get to my sinking funds there's still always enough money for me to put 10% of my income to church so but other than that that is it so once you add up all these totals you should have a zero balance in your checking account afterwards some people do leave a buffer I already have a buffer in my account um, from a couple of paychecks back when we got a big grant check from school uh, my husband got so I do still have money in my buffer account so that's why I have not um, set any 
money aside to just put in the buffer buffer is just like your checking account and that will be for um unexpected expenses so things that pop up that you didn't remember so like an afterpay that you forgot about or a credit card bill that you have to pay really quick you have a certain amount in your buffer how much you want to put in there is up to you um some people put ten dollars some people put 20 some people put 30 some people put a thousand so it's really up to you at this point i think ours is down to 100 at one point it was in the thousands <laughs> but we have been using that buffer like crazy so i think at this point it might be down to like a hundred dollars or something but that's okay no it might be um 101 and then 200 in another checking account but anyway that's okay because all of our bills are already paid for for this month so Yay! Um, so yes, that's that's what this whole system is. Um, if you have any questions, if you've never seen it before. And so then when I get paid on Friday, I will go ahead and take out all of this money and input it into my binders. Some people decide to do electronic um, sinking funds. I do that as well. Anything over 500. So anything over $500, I keep in the bank. And anything less than 500, I, <clears throat> I will stuff and keep in my wallet or you know in a um, safe in my house okay I hope that answered any questions guys I'm so excited like I already started um, making my 1k slips I'm 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 about to get on the roll y'all because I got to get this side hustle money going aren't these super cute I think they turned out so cute I'm so excited like this is so fun to make to make some stuff so yes i'm definitely working on some things like some savings trackers um all kinds of stuff so i'm set i'm excited about that Alrighty, so i am all set i'm done thank you so much for watching <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i love you as always and until next time peace bye